Hello guys. Today we are going to do the review of the Huawei Mate 10 after the MUI 10 update. And as you can see, nothing much that has changed in this up update compared to 9.1. Most of the features which the, the, they were in 9.1, some of them were scraped off, although most of the features are still same as they used to. As you can see here, in this biometric section, things are just still the same as, as the way it was in 9.1. Whereby you can still use either face or do the fingerprint. And also in terms of the battery life, battery life is also okay. Depending on your usage, you can turn the performance of the saving mode. And also you can track a little bit of the screen resolution you can change depending on your flavor although it will consume a bit of power and concerning the issue of the issue of concerning the issue of the digital balance here yeah? The issue with this feature is that it was incorporated so it can be able you can be able to, to I mean to measure the way you are using your device depending on different applications that you interact with. And you can you can set time then change that later. And another feature was the On the about phone, nothing much that has changed, only the serial of the latest patch. And as you can see, it's Android 10, nothing else that differs from the 9.1 update. So, as you can see, nothing much that maybe, maybe, maybe different from the other. And there's also a dark mode feature which was added in the latest update as you can see. And the UI also of the phone and the slim body just okay. And I feel this phone is still worth it even in 2020, although it was released in 2017. You can see the slickness of the camera and the body design, the covers. Everything just seems to okay and that makes this phone look so wow and beautiful to me even, even though it's three years older This is a Chinese model and there's no affair of the third, la third la party launchers so Another issue is the camera camera still it's okay as you can as you all know that this phone is a camera king so <laughs> This section is just undisputed <laughs> You can shift through different modes depending on your need. You can also take videos up to 4K. There's a tons of features and filters here which you can take in portrait mode if you wish. And so far so good. There is also the master AI object tracking which you can you can track a little bit if you like. That makes even this phone look even more far beautiful. As you can see here, yeah, the the options. The next things talks about gaming. As you can see, this phone is a really a piece of something when it comes to gaming. The phone just hits a little bit though, but the performance is just incredible. Taking into account about the G GPU Turbo 2.0, which was added that makes really the gaming life really incredible in this see so on my comments concerning this phone and the update is that the phone is okay and it's look good from the body design although some patches i would like to request concerning the cameras and the performance and the battery life it could even make this phone look great so guys that's it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for more updates from our channel. See you.